Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot lid. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run your car on three cylinders or two cylinders if you're driving a four cylinder vehicle. Now you might ask, why would you want to do this? I ask, why wouldn't you want to do this? Um, one reason could be, you may be able to save gas. I actually think on the contrary, because the engine is having to work harder, you wouldn't save that gas. But I haven't tested it out yet, so it'd be cool if one of you guys test it and check it out. But if your car blows up, don't come back and blame me. There will be a series of three videos following this video showing my Civic, not this one, it's actually the black one. And when I came to do the video today, I forgot I actually did it in the black car. But the process will be the same in this blue Civic that I have here. So you'll see what the car looks like when I run it on four cylinders, three cylinders, and two cylinders. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get the video started. Okay, and for today's video, you'll need a 3 8 ratchet, an extension, a spark plug socket, and a pick to pick a fuel injector metal thingy, if indeed you do have one, because on my 96 to 2000 Honda Civic, I just had a plug that I just had to squeeze and pull out. And then you'll also need a zip tie or a hose clamp in order to hold your spark plug boot to something somewhere. Alright guys, so what you're going to want to do here is take your pick and go ahead and kind of grab on this little metal piece right here and lift it up out of the little ridge it's sitting on and then I'm going to grab on the other side like so now I should be able to just lift up on it there we got that metal piece off and it may just set down right above the ridge and if that it's like that that's fine too and then we'll just be able to pull up on it like that and that's how you disconnect your fuel injector that's how you stop giving it power which will stop it from injecting fuel into your cylinder so by having the spark plug removed and the plug wire off it and your fuel injector disconnected what you're going to do is you're no longer going to put fuel in that cylinder and you are going to take the compression away from the cylinder so the piston when it comes up it's not going to be fighting against compression and it's not going to be injecting fuel so therefore this is almost like a dead cylinder now I really don't believe it's going to help you save gas. Or I don't think it's going to help you save gas. I don't think it's going to get in, increase your miles per gallon. Now, actually, I did drive it like this, like I said, on running on three cylinders, and then I disconnected another cylinder, too, and I ran it on two cylinders. And my car ran, and it didn't break <laughs> in just about three to five miles. So if you run it and you drive it for a while and something breaks, don't come back to me because I'm not going to be liable for anything and you're not going to be able to get any money out of me. So I'm sorry about that, guys. So Just remember, if you do try this, you're trying this at your own risk. Something could break. I don't think anything will break, and that's why I tried it on my car. And to be honest, if something did break, then I'd be able to fix it. So I don't want to put you guys in a financial situation that's tough to get out of because you broke your car trying to do something stupid so just don't try it if if breaking your car means really bad news I don't care and I was just able to kind of shoot this video so so basically let's recap on everything what you want to do is disconnect this fuel injector remove the spark plug and then once you got your plug wire out we're going to fix this on a piece over there and I'll show you how to do that in a second just so it's kind of out of the way and not getting hurt or anything and so that your your spark plug hole there is clear of anything so the piston can just come up and it'll be free so here here now I'm just gonna show you where to fix this plug wire okay guys so what I did with this plug wire is you'll just take a hose clamp like one of those silver hose clamps that you tighten down or a zip tie, a zip tie would be easier and you just kind of kind of set your plug wire right there and then put the zip tie around it and tighten it up so it just kind of stays fixed there so it's not shocking anything and it's just out of the way and it's not going to hurt anything and 
basically that's all you've got to do to run your car on three cylinders or two cylinders or if you're an eight cylinder you could run on seven or six or three or maybe even four I don't know try it let me know how it works for you and basically that is if you if you were to want to do this on another cylinder as well you just do the same thing I did over on this one to say this one and then you'll be able to run on two cylinders so that sums up my how to for today I thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time Here's what we got after the pistol rounds went through it. I got six out of eight, not too bad. So we got one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there. It looks like something might have hit. I don't know if that was a bullet or not.